What's up, y'all? Pete here, just doing a quick update. I'm uh, on I-40 heading east about an hour west of Nashville. I'm going to be in Nashville this evening at uh, 5.30. There's a little get-together at Mafioso's uh, Pizza Place at 2412 Street. And uh, there's a monthly Liberty on the Rocks meeting there. So a few years ago when I was on the road with the Demo and Jason Talley that, at the time with Motorhome Diaries, uh, we joined this group out there, had a, so it'll be interesting to see uh, some of these people again. Also, I'm going to meet a guy named Adam G. House, who uh, hit me up through Cop Block not too long ago. He posted a story on Cop Block about uh, having served in the military and uh, coming back to the States and being harassed by some local uh, thug with a badge, so he's uh, pretty motivated to have a positive impact in his community. He said he's inspired by the Peaceful Street Project in Austin and by the Liberty Empowerment Project that Nate Cox and Meg McLean are doing out in Virginia with Virginia Cop Block. Um, but anyway, so I'm looking forward to meeting him. going to probably hang out with him in Murfreesboro uh, later tonight as well. And then uh, I'll, I'll be uh, continuing to head east uh, with my final destination being the Winston-Salem area, North Carolina. I should get there on Saturday. I might stop in Asheville and see some people, uh, maybe do a story. But uh, trip thus far since I left Austin on Monday has been good. Uh, well, actually, on Tuesday, yesterday morning, uh, I was in northeast Texas in Cooper. A uh, guy there had reached out and expressed, uh, shared with me some uh, incident that had happened. Local sheriff teamed up with the National Guard and some other folks, used a helicopter, raided his place. Uh, pretty ridiculous story, but uh, hoping to get some more. I submitted a FOIA request, went into the uh, sheriff's office. He wouldn't talk to me on camera. And then uh, last night I spent in Jackson, Tennessee, and uh, I was in this Tahoe, this vehicle, 95 turbo diesel, and uh, uh, a squad car pulled up behind me, you know, came off the road and stopped behind me. I parked in a big parking lot, and I'm like, oh, probably noticed the cop block bumper sticker. So, you know, I used the quick, I uh, used the live streaming, and I used another camera, went out and proactively approached and said, hey, you know, can I help you? What's going on? I know you parked here. And, uh, you know, the person with the badge is, Bebo was like, what do you mean, what? And so she had just randomly stopped there. But then after, uh, you know, I kind of brought it to her attention that I was, I had cameras and will report, I think that she took interest, you know, she shined her spotlight over here and stuff like that, but nothing ever came of it. And in fact, I think it's probably a good thing to, to let those kind of folks, the watchers know that uh, that I'm watching and that you're watching because uh, it's going to hopefully deter them from acting in the wrong. So. Anyway, haven't been harassed on this uh, trip thus far from New Hampshire to North Carolina to Austin, Texas, and now back to North Carolina. So it uh, should be should be something to, to even have to mention, I would say, because you know I'm not hurting anybody. So why should I have that uh, consideration that it, may, it might happen? You know, and, and uh, I, I am in Tennessee right now where. Uh, the TSA and some other folks, they have these Viper teams, they do uh, temporary checkpoints on the interstate and stuff like that, but I've been through some checkpoints before back in uh, 2009 again, uh, yeah, it was 2010 actually, this this case, it was a Davo and me, and we had picked up, a, picked up a hitchhiker in New Mexico, and we're going into Texas, we're in West Texas, just east of El Paso, and, uh, you know, they... We just kept asking, are we free to go? We're being detained. They asked us to pull over. Um, you know, they wanted us to answer questions if we're American citizens. And, you know, I don't want to be anybody's citizen because that implies a contract or some sort of social contract that I don't agree to. I don't necessarily endorse all the things those kind of folks do. So, anyway, long story short, they ended up uh, just saying, yeah, you're free to go just because we were persistent and uh, didn't uh, let their badges and things like that and their orders intimidate us. So, um, that's about it for now. Hopefully I'll have uh, some more good content coming out too. So take care, y'all.